action movies from the 1990s became bigger and more elaborate than ever, and the same holds true for many of the car chase scenes from this era. Buckle up tight and hold on for dear life. Here are the top 10 greatest movie car chase scenes from the 1990s. Starting off our list at number 10 is A Short Time from 1990. This hilarious car chase involves a detective named Bird who thinks he has only two weeks to live. Now he's attempting to die in the line of duty to collect insurance money for his family. So he ditches his yogurt, Bird, your yogurt. to take advantage of an excellent opportunity to end his life in a high-speed pursuit with a couple of armed robbers. What's he trying to do, kill himself? The bad guys start to get away, so at a last-ditch effort, he sends it through a barrier and off a cliff. Unlucky for him, he's wearing a seatbelt at the time, so he survived the wreck. Lucky for us, that means the chase keeps going and gets pretty heated between a red Plymouth Caravel and a baby blue Pontiac Catalina. Bird ends up parking it right in front of the speeding criminals and gets completely T-boned and still survives. We're glad you're still alive, Bird, and that's why you made it on our list. Can't you idiots do anything right? Landing in at number nine is the movie Jade from 1995. It's another great car chase directed by William Friedkin. He's the mastermind behind the legendary car chases from The French Connection and To Live and Die in LA, both of which have made our top three from the 70s and 80s lists. Be sure to check those out after watching this one. And check out the legs on this babe. Wait, oh my God, no. This chase gets your blood pumping from the very beginning and holds it all the way to the very end. The hilly streets of San Francisco are a car chase wonderland for movies, and that will always be the case. Chock full of traffic, tight streets, and a ton of angry Chinese people partying in Chinatown give this chase everything it needs to hang with some of the best chases out there. Coming in at number eight is the movie Taxi from 1998. This French action movie is about a pizza boy who has some serious skills behind the wheel. He quits his job to take up racing full time as a taxi driver, and along the way challenges some criminals to a race and check out these sweet euro whips a silver 500e mercedes and a tastefully riced out peugeot 406 these three cars dance through city streets between loading docks and down a highway while trying to outdo one another mix in a semi truck spilling a bunch of valuable water bottles some superpower car flipping capabilities and a bridge jump that leads to nowhere and you got yourself a bona fide chase from the 90s number seven is the car rental scene in days of thunder from 1990. in this scene tom cruise and that other guy decide to take a couple rental cars in an ultimate joyride that every teenager dreams of. And it's even more special getting to watch two professional NASCAR drivers get the job done right behind the backs of their motorsport managers. It's a short and sweet car chase that really satisfies your appetite. Number six is the BMW chase in Tomorrow Never Dies from 1997. In this chase, Bond is driving a tricked out 740 IL BMW that he can control with his phone. That's right, Bond was already doing it back in 97. They built 17 Aspen Gray BMWs for this chase and four were adapted to be hidden driver cars. That means the stunt driver was actually sitting in the back seat, driving the car with a tiny steering wheel. The car that launches off the roof was also modified and stripped of all its weight so that it could gloriously soar through the sky like my dreams of becoming a stunt driver. We're back in the busy streets of San Francisco for this car chase in The Rock from 1996, coming in at number five. It's got 1990s car chase written all over it. A black Humvee, a yellow F-355 Spider, Sean Connery, and internet meme god Nicolas Cage were all very popular things from this era. We get more expensive jugs of water exploding from a semi-truck that gets decapitated by the flying brick on wheels. We get cops taking huge wrecks, a Ferrari flying through a window, and a super intense trolley disaster where a selfless conductor manages to buy enough time to save everyone on board and sticks it out by his trolley side until they both explode into what seems like another dimension. You just fucked up your Ferrari. No, no, baby, no, no. Landing in at number four is the car chase scene from Who Am I in 1998. When it comes to action scenes, Jackie Chan really knows how to bring the action up a notch. And for this film, they utilized a bunch of elaborate rigs that helped the car perform stunts never before seen in car chases, while still keeping it realistic enough for the purists. Like this clean 270 reverse park to ditch the bad guys. They almost get away, but end up being chased up a parking lot where one of the black M3 sedans nearly brings down one of the actors off the top floor. The innovative stunts in this film are what landed it high up on our list. We're into our top three car chase scenes, and what better way to start it off than the classic bus chase from the movie Speed in 1994. There's a bunch of super intense moments throughout the movie, and the suspense of a speeding bus full of innocent people became an instant hit. Keanu chases down the bus and sets himself up for a ghost ride the whip while pretending to care about the guy who's convertible he just jacked. Sir, 
I need to take your phone. And of course, we get some more water to help cool us down from the action, leading us to the famous jump over the uncompleted highway, which is pretty hard to top. Everyone escapes and the driverless bus slams into a plane. Now that's what I'm talking about. You're not going to get a bigger explosion unless you involve an atomic bomb, and that's not really a topic we should be getting into right now. Continuing the list is our runner-up car chase from the Terminator Judgment Day in 1991. This is one of the greatest and most recognizable car chase scenes even to this day. Pitching a motorcycle against a Terminator-powered semi-truck is probably the scariest thing I've ever heard of. That's until the OG Terminator shows up. I probably watched this Harley jump over 30 times because jumping a bike like that ain't easy and because the stunt double looks scarier than the Terminator himself. Look at him, that's some Mike Myers shit right there. This chase has water, although not in bottles, and it's also got bridge jumps, convertibles, sawed off shotguns, not one, but two Terminators, and a major semi-truck explosion. That pretty much checks every box on the list for a great 90s car chase. That brings us to our number one greatest and most elaborate car chase scene from the 1990s with Ronin from 1998. This car chase is as tense as it is realistic. The stunt driving in this scene is really something to appreciate. During some moments in this chase, they were using up to 300 stunt drivers all at once. And to make it seem like the actors were doing all the driving themselves, they actually used bright and drive cars so that the actors could mimic the same moves as the stunt drivers while sitting next to them. This chase doesn't fall short in any other key factors either, such as semi-truck disasters, innocent civilians getting caught up in the funk, 270 drift entries, and of course, driving against traffic on the highway. There are obvious nods to some of the films we have covered from previous eras, which is what all around makes this the hands down best car chase from the 1990s. As always, we'd love to hear what movies you think should have been on our list, and please don't forget to like and subscribe for more.